Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Factoria video, or Factoria++ Plus Plus video, and I just died last episode. Um, luckily, when you die, it's not game over. Luckily, like, I, I know I'm not going to go deathless, but it's not that big of a deal that I'm not going to be deathless. It's a bigger, bigger deal that the fighters are destroying everything I have right now, so... Uh, yeah, the biters expanded, and that's, yeah, they can expand, and, yeah, now I'm out of stuff in my inventory, luckily I can, I can just grab stuff from somewhere else, like this, um, and there's enough iron to make a few more things, um, so, yeah, that, I lost a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna make repair packs, repair packs, well, I'm also gonna make some um, some drills here so I can repair everything I that got lost. So, what the repair packs are gonna do is that um, also I think if you die, you can you can regain your inventory. If I knew where I died, I think it was right here. If, yeah, it's like right here. There is my inventory. So I don't I don't I don't even I can just yeah. It's weird how that works, but. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna place this down back where I had previously placed it. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but this is what happens. The biters expand, and the base, base over there expanded over here. And that's a problem. I need to take them out. And this is why I researched, like, defense and military. Because I need, I now need to make some stronger military stuff. I need to make ammo, and I need to make gun turrets. The best thing, I think, I, I've heard that the best way to counteract biters in the early game is to um, do what's known as turret creep. So that's what, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I've never really done this before, but this is what I've been trying and true. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. So Yep, they're already attacking. They're already attacking. Well, at the very least, it's gonna be a guard for for myself, which is more important, probably. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need to place down. I don't know where my ammo is. That's right here. Uh, just place a few ammo here, just so I can defend myself. This is a surprisingly large turret. This is a surprisingly large fighter base for such early in the game. I also need to make a submachine gun, like, now. Which is a stronger pistol. So, later later on, um, I unlock, you unlock combat drones, and that's what I use for most of the game. Nobody else uses them, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of ammo fast, because, yeah, even now that's out of ammo. So I should I should be using I should be placing it all here and pressing tab because this is a stronger weapon. So yeah, um, I need iron to make ammo. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place down I'm gonna use some ammo here and try to um, destroy the spider base because I really need to get that destroyed. And I don't know why my hot part tab is just going right now so yeah this this is why defense is important I knew this is gonna happen sooner or later and yeah I'm just gonna craft more ammo as much as I can I should probably make an auto crafting factory of this actually I'll do that now um, it's not really the most the best way to do this but it works so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a whole bunch of iron in it and then another inserter so I can I need another electric pole here and so I can place the ammo in a chest here so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this will auto, which, this will auto craft ammo for me the best thing to do in the early game is just take out any biter bases that dare attack you so you can see now now with a submachine gun, I'm a lot more powerful, um, and I can more realistically take on the biters. 
Um, I'm gonna need more ammo though. Just like a, just, I'm just gonna put all of it in here because I'm cra I'm continuously crafting more. And now I can get rid of this and just I can just rinse and repeat. I know with only two gun turrets, it's, this is not ideal, but um, this is what will work. And also, unfortunately, it's in range of the worms, which is um, annoying. So, I should probably just take out the worm manually. The worms spit acid. That's essentially what they do. And they're very strong. At least early on. So, I'm just going to take out like this. And now I should be able to just manually... Actually, I can't manually take out the rest of the base. I don't have, I don't have enough ammo. Um, so now I should be able to easily take out the rest of the space. It just takes a while in the early game. This is why I try to rush combat drones, which really are... They're, they're so much better. Like Once you unlock combat drones... They're, they're, they're so OP. So that, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so just t taking out the rest of this, I should be fine. And yeah, I'm surprised they expanded in this direction. But I guess that's that's what they do. They I, I'm, I'm playing with, I think, fully default fighter settings. So it's, this is should be a pretty accurate representation of, of the real difficulty. So, it must have been these biters over there. Also, there's one straggling biter right there. I should probably stop it from making a base. Uh, I think it's up here. Um, so, yeah, you can also, the biters have an evolution, so that means they get stronger over time. Right now it's 2.7%, but later on it'll be more and it, they will be scarier, so yay. Okay, now, and now I just have to rebuild what has been destroyed. So you can see a bunch of stuff. Some of the coal mines have been destroyed. A few belts here. Um, I sh it looks like I'm fine with the current coal I do have, but I think later on I will want more. I will definitely want more coal. So yeah, that's the first biter attack. And I still haven't unlocked steel processing because I need more iron and copper. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain that I need to go all the way out here to get copper, but whatever. Let's deal with it. And this will allow me to finish researching steel processing. And that's, once I get steel processing, this is really where things, I think things are going to, get a lot crazier. So I'm going to put all the iron and much of the copper into here so I can just get a few more red science. And yes, I will be do using more I will be automating more things later on, but at this point no. Just um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to research after this. Maybe I sh could try to focus on some of the modded stuff or could just do this because I'm definitely going to want this, except this requires green science. Green science is like red science, except it's harder to make. And I would need trans a transfer belt and an inserter. It doesn't sound that bad, but I'm going to need to make a ton of green science. So I'm probably going to do a whole bunch of preparation. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm probably going to make what's called a bus and it's going to be all the way out West. Like, here. So this this means I still have to make a lot of belts and just a, lo a lot of everything before I, I do that. Um, so yeah, and then once once I make a bus, things will be a lot better automated than what I currently have right now. Because this is what I have right now is not really that good so far. I should probably also make the what I did with the splitters um, before, like, over here. So I can do it like this and this and use, like, an underground belt, but not like that. Um, I can do this. 
and then put one, put it here. The copper. I'm just gonna remove all these belts because, again, I'm gonna do the same thing as what I'm doing before. So just just like this, and this will again a little bit. Of, it's the same idea as before, except it's a little bit a little bit neater than before. Because I'm gonna again, I want to. Uh, I'm gonna make want to make a few more stone furnaces because eventually I I won't be just like taking them directly out of the smelters. I'll be I'll be using them them. In the assembling machines so I can automate stuff so yeah okay, do this and it definitely looks a lot more neat and tidy as uh, than before so just do like this and just a few more like this and there we go we have some we now have double the copper production so Eventually, this will be expanding a lot farther out. I probably also want to get some fish. Some of this one's damaged, which I have no idea. It's probably the rocket or, or the or like the crash landing that damaged it. So now steel is finished. The next thing you probably want to do is steel axe, which just increases my mining speed. Um. So essentially, what fish do is that they help. They they if you eat it, they increase your health which is very good for biter fights because you know how I died that one time. It should be a lot. Maybe I should keep this damaged fish just as a relic. I should probably keep it like that. Um, so, yeah, but like, anyway, this fish will allow me, again, it'll be stronger in biter fights, especially once like a combat drones. What, um, if, if you, if you're not, if you don't know what combat drones are, it's something pretty far, or not that far down the research tree, but it's like, um, you can see the, the research tree here, um, like, I'm not sure, I, I know it's like here, after you get the black science, which is the third science you get, and like you can see I need a lot of, I need a few things beforehand, it's not that hard to make. And then the combat drones are, is this. And like these are OP. I mean, you, I, I can't really make them yet, but once I can make them, the biter fights are gonna get so much easier than what I'm doing with turret creep. Um, like especially with the fish. And yeah, I, I'm, it, it's pretty OP. So, now what I can do here is use a long-handed inserter to make steel. And this will, this is gonna give me the first steels. Steel is slow to make and everything, but it, it'll, it'll be good in the long run here because steel is useful for a bunch of things. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of stuff that uses steel here. I don't think there's anything that uses steel here, but most of the stuff, at least in the vanilla game, that I have yet to research will take steel. Is this, yeah, this takes steel. I also haven't even made myself armor yet, which I probably should have done in like episode one, or at least episode two, but I'll make, I'll make armor here. And this will allow me to yeah, this just gives me more like health and resistance and stuff. But like, there's more armor that takes steel. Um, I don't think these take steel. No, they don't. But a lot of the stuff, like, I think this takes steel. A lot of stuff later on will take steel. So, yeah, and you can just see how massive this is. There's, it looks like actually more than 25% is new here. There's a ton of new stuff here with Factorio++. I really didn't realize how how much Factorio++ added. I thought it added like a few new ores, maybe 20 or so new researches, but no. It's adding way more than that. So, 
Yeah, and I'm still in red science. Which means I'm still really early on. But now, th now that I've steel, the options are going to start opening up for me. Um, and maybe at this point, it, is a, it may be a good idea to start... Um, like, I, I, I'm going to need a lot of inserters for this, but start doing this. I'm, I'm going to definitely need to make some more inserters, though. You can craft iron plates like this. Well, I don't know why there's two of them, but... Uh, Oh, it's a Factorio plus plus. I need you. Wow, you can smell a pistol. That's new, and and it actually works. It, it will give me an iron plate. Yeah, pistols are useless once you get submachine guns. So that's what that's all about. And it gives you five iron plates. So it looks like uh, that's a way to actually be useful with certain with. Yeah, with that. So it's actually kind of cool. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more inserters here because this will this will allow me to uh, make some more. Maybe I did I do this the wrong way. Uh, yeah, I did. I have to do it like that. So this will essentially put iron plates on a belt, and this may not seem very useful right now, but Later on, this will be very useful. Very useful. Um, like once everything starts getting automated. Because right now, we're not really close to everything being automated at this point. Like even with this, like we can also do the same thing with the steel. We can put that in a belt. And we can also do the same thing with copper. So, it may not, again, it may not seem very useful, but I know how useful this will be. And it looks like I'm running out of power. Yep. Oh, no. I'm not running out of power. Maybe it's just my UPS. Just here. If I have a low UPS, things run slow. I really thought I was actually running out of power. Like, in this. But I'm currently in good. So... Yeah, the steel axe is very slow to research because it needs 50 of them, or 50 red science, and I think they take 30 seconds each. So, I mean, maybe I should try to focus on other stuff first. I know, I promise I will start focusing on some modded stuff. I'm just, maybe I can check FNEI, like seeing what any of the, like, you can just. I feel like I'm being spoiled by looking at all these, but I should probably look at at least some of the raw materials of some of the weird ores here, like um, like this. Uh, I have no idea what this does, but it, it it may do something. So again, like these researches seem very basic. Um, like I have no idea what silver processing or Titan processing does, but maybe like maybe I can just look at this. There's Titan Axe, which it's again increases mining speed, greater than the Steel Axe. So it I looks like there is a bunch of new stuff I will do in this. But for now, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna. I think the quest. What I want to do in the next few episodes is start working towards full automation. Trying to make a bus, and just trying to get everything automated. I'm gonna do this out here, southwest. I'm I'm gonna try to avoid this gold ore. I mean, I I thought that gold would be rare, but with 737 thousand of it, it's like the second most common ore, and there's a huge patch of silver up there. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Again, not sure what it does, but I'm, I'm excited to see what... I'm excited to find out. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.